वंदे गुजरात जब मैं एक छोटा बच्चा था तो मेरे आंखों के सामने से गुजरते हुए रेलगाड़ियों को देखना मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा लगता था स्टेशन पर आते जाते गाड़ियों को मैं घंटों निहारता रहता मेरी विशेष रुचि उन लोगों में थी जो इन जादुई गाड़ियों को चलाते हैं बस एक सपना था कि मैं भी कभी इन जादुई गाड़ियों को चला सकू मुझे क्या पता था कि एक दिन मेरा भी सपना साकार होगा और मैं बनूंगा एक लोको पायलट ये बहुत ही रोचक नौकरी है क्योंकि कौन सा ऐसा व्यवसाय होगा जिसमें आपको संपूर्ण भारत के मनोरम स्थानों का आनंद उठाने का मौका मिल सके तो इस काम में चुनौतियां भी कम नहीं एक लोको पायलट के ऊपर हजारों यात्रियों और लाखों टन माल के परिवहन की महत्वपूर्ण जिम्मेदारी होती है जैसा कि कहते हैं हजारों मील लंबे सफर की शुरुआत पहले कदम से होती है एक लोकोमोटिव को निकालने से पूर्व लोको पायलट को उसकी बारीकी से जांच करनी होती है और ये सुनिश्चित करना होता है कि इंजन चलने के लिए पूरी तरह से सुरक्षित और सुचारू है और सफर पर निकलने से पूर्व लोको पायलट को ये भी ज्ञात होना चाहिए कि जिस सेक्शन पर वो निकलने को है उससे वो भली भांति परिचित हो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव जस्ट वॉच्ड अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री ऑफ कोंकण रेलवे कोंकण रेलवे is one of the part of indian railways do you know friends indian railways is the biggest in the world it's the biggest railway network in the world can you guess how many passengers travel by indian railways in a single day guess 
5 million that is a big figure right. But the passengers the number of passengers are more bigger than this 23 million passengers travel every day by Indian Railways such a huge task some of you might have seen a documentary of this kind for the first time it's about locomotive driver and it shows how railway works our next activity is also on railway how to travel by railways what to do and what not to do while we travel by railways okay so unit 5 activity number 4 open your textbook and reach to activity number 4 so hope you have opened your textbook page number 60 let me read the instruction for you activity 4 a Piyush is going from Ahmedabad to Mumbai his grandfather tells him what to do and what not to do let us read the list from do section 1 reach station safely 2 cross the road by using traffic lights 3 purchase tickets from the ticket window 4 stand in a queue 5 use the timetable 6 make an inquiry for the train 7 keep ticket in the proper place friends let us read the do not list number 1 is push while passengers come out number 2 purchase ticket from strangers 3 hurry to get into the train 4 sit on another class 5 take eatables offered by a stranger 6 keep luggage in a wrong place 7 throw rubbish anywhere friends we have got a list of to do things and not to do things while we travel by railways let us read again all the instructions and try to understand what do they mean first the do list and the first instruction in the do list is reach the station safely now you all know that our roads are packed jammed with traffics and all are in hurry each one tries to reach earlier than the other one so what happens accident and in such a situation we have to take care about ourselves we have to be cautious while we are traveling so here is the instruction which says travel safely our second instruction is also similar 
to the first instruction. It says cross the road by using traffic lights. You are standard A students. You are well aware of traffic rules and you are well aware about traffic lights. You do not cross the road when the light is red. Do you? Yes, I know. You don't. This instruction says the same thing like the first instruction that when we want to reach any place safely we have to follow traffic rules and we have to follow traffic light signals. Instruction number 3. Purchase the ticket from the ticket window. Friends, they sell you tickets but they are not authorized persons to do so. So passengers get cheated. Be careful. Never buy tickets from such people. Always buy ticket from authorized place or from authorized person like ticket window at the railway station. Be safe even in buying a ticket. And next instruction is stand in a queue. Whenever you go to buy a ticket at ticket window you will see a queue. You have to see you have to stand in a queue whenever there is a ticket window or while entering into the compartment. Well that's quite a challenging task to enter into the compartment but if we form a queue it will become easier for passengers to get down and get in. Our next instruction is instruction number 5. Use the timetable. Now friends, the timetable of railways is very interesting. It follows 24 hours cycle. We follow 12 hour cycles. So if a train arrives at 1 p.m. The Indian Railway will show the time as 13 hours. Got my point? So, we have to be cautious while traveling through railways about the time. We should keep checking the timetable. Next instruction is Instruction number 6. Make an inquiry for the train. In instruction number 5, we have seen how to use the timetable while we travel by railways. This instruction goes similar with that instruction number 5. Because we mess up with the time schedule of 12 hours and 24 hours. So, when we are traveling by railways, we should be cautious when the tra train arrives, when the train departs, what is the exit time, is it early morning, night, noon time. So, we should check the time of trains also. Last instruction in the do list, keep ticket in proper place. Friends, while we travel by railways, TC comes in to check our tickets. It's the duty of a ticket checker to check the ticket. In second class and in first class, passengers cannot travel on other passengers ticket. So, the ticket checker checks that the right passenger is traveling through a right ticket. We have to keep our tickets safely. Now let's move on to not to do list. Friends keep in mind these sentences suggest what not to do right. 
they are not suggesting what to do they says what not to do number 1 is push the passengers while come out now this is not a good habit pushing passengers while getting in or coming out whether it is a train or a bus or a rickshaw or a classroom we should form a queue and step in or step out in a sequence in a queue right you all are wise boys and girls you will follow the to do list right yes now number 2 purchase tickets from strangers i think i need not to explain this sentence right we have already talked about why to purchase a ticket from ticket window or from authorized person because strangers can cheat us we are never sure that the ticket purchased from a stranger is a proper ticket so we should always purchase a ticket from ticket window or from an authorized place number 3 hurry to get into the train well once again similar to number 1 push the passengers hurry up to get into the train or to get into the bus we can maintain our pace we can form a queue so we all can get in the train or a bus or a car or a rickshaw or in a classroom or in a hall a queue is a good option than pushing and rushing number 4 sit on another class now friends i need to explain here because some of you might never have traveled by railways indian railways offer three classes general class second class and first class the prices of the tickets are different for each of the classes so you can not sit in second class while you have the ticket of general class you have to sit in general class if you have a ticket of first class and your seat number is 30 you can not sit on seat number 15 because it's a window seat and you want to enjoy the scenery no you have to sit on seat number 30 no change in class no change in seat number that is quite a strict rule 5 take eatables offered by a stranger now friends please never do so especially while you are traveling alone mostly people are good but there are bad incidents especially with children so be safe never take eatables or even drink offered by a stranger 6 keep luggage in a wrong place do we do that we don't do that we never do that we always keep our luggage as at safer place right seven throw rubbish anywhere drink something eat something throw away the utensil throw away the dish throw away the cup throw away the plastic bag anywhere should we do that of course not swachh bharat abhiyan right we want our country clean and cleanliness helps us in healthiness so we should keep all our public places clean 
we should always throw the rubbish into the dustbin. Friends, we have studied do list and not to do list while we travel by railways. We should keep this useful information in mind whenever we travel by railways or by bus or by any other means. Activity 4A is done. Friends, now it's time for activity 4B. First, listen to the dialogue between Piyush and his grandfather. What are you getting ready for? Grandpa, I am going to Mumbai. Have you taken your luggage? Yes, sir. Are you going alone? Yes, I am. Ask Priya to drop you. Dada, it's a nice subject. You have listened the dialogue between Piyush and his grandfather. Now let's read it. 4B Listen and understand the dialogue. Grandfather says Piyush What are you getting ready for? Piyush says Grandpa, I am going to Mumbai. Grandfather says, Have you taken your luggage? Piyush says, Yes, Dada. Grandfather says, Are you going alone? Piyush says, Yes, I am. Grandfather says, Ask Priya to drop you. Piyush says, Dada, it's a nice suggestion. Friends, we have listened and read the dialogue between Piyush and his grandfather. Piyush is traveling to Mumbai by railways and his grandfather is advising him. His grandfather is giving him a list of to do things and not to do things. And we already have a list of to do things and not to do things. So we have to form dialogues using the list given in activity 4a for Piyush and his grandfather. Keep your pencils and textbook ready because we are going to write the dialogues. Keep in mind we are going to use phrases from do list and not to do list from 4a activity. Now form a dialogue with the help of do or don't. Grandfather says, have you checked the train time? Check the train time. It is underlined. Why? Because it is in the to do list of activity 4a. We are using sentences from the do list and not to do list here. A dialogue kya lakhwana? Look at your textbook on page number 60. The space is given for the dialogue. Grandfather ni vat hoi. Tya grandfather no dialogue lakhwano. Ane jya piyush bole. Tya apde piyush no dialogue lakhi su. Ok. To a grandfather vado dialogue. Che humna apde banavyo. Tya apde first dialogue. ग्रांडफादर नी सामे नी जग्या मा लखीशू आवी रीते Have you Have You Checked The Train Time Train Time Have you checked the train time 
Piyush says, Yes, Dadu. I will also make an inquiry at the inquiry window. Friends, make an inquiry. That is also from the do list of activity 4A. We are using phrases from activity 4A to form this dialogue. Okay. So, now it's time to write in your textbook. Write this way. Yes. Dadu. I will also make an inquiry at the inquiry window inquiry window Friends, we will form next dialogues in similar way using the do list and do not list. And we will write them here in given space. Let us go to the next line. Grandfather says, okay, have you kept the ticket in the proper place? Keep the ticket in the proper place. Apne ya 4A na list ma thi lidu chhe. Please write at proper place. Let's see what Piyush has replied. You says, yes, my ticket is in my pocket. Please write these dialogues in your textbook on page number 60. Let us move forward. Grandfather says, That's good. Reach the station safely. Friends, do you remember the first phrase in to do list in activity 4A? Joilo, tamari textbook ma. Shunche. Yes, we have used it here. Please write it down in your textbook. Piyush replied, Of course, Dadu. You know, Priya follows traffic rules strictly. Yaad chane damne? Grandfather has suggest kari tu Piyush ne ask Priya to drop you and Priya follows traffic rules strictly. Please write this down.
Now, what does the grandfather say next? Let's see. Grandfather says, and stay calm. Do not hurry to get into the train. Will you? Friends, tamara do not list ma check karo. You will find this phrase at that place. Hurry to get into the train. But it is in do not list. Means we should not do that. Please write this. Let's see what Piyush has replied. Piyush says, I will not and I will not keep my luggage in the wrong place. Let's move forward. Grandfather says, that's good my son. And what about throwing rubbish? We have talked about throwing rubbish while discussing not to do list. Piyush says, Swachh Bharat Dadu. I won't throw rubbish anywhere. I will use dustbin. Friends, apne not to do list ma a phrase jo to, throw rubbish anywhere. But that belongs to not to do list. Please write this. Grandfather says, very good my dear, have a safe and enjoyable journey. So friends, we have prepared dialogues between Piyush and his grandfather using do and not to do list given in activity 4a. And here we are at the end of this class. Please keep reading and do keep making new dialogues using this kind of list. You can extend this dialogue. Ane ahu ko extension tame banao, to eno photo amne jarur pohancharjo. Aur ye next class ma. Bye.